Recording in progress. What up? What's good, family? I'm your boy, Trey Frazier. I got my homie, Maestro Styles here with me. Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of the Barbershop Sports Talk Podcast. Uh, shout out to all of our Facebook Live viewers right now. Make sure you check, make sure you click on the like button on our Facebook page. Also, you can follow us on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel. And you can follow us on social media on Instagram at Barbershop Sports Talk Podcast. And also on Twitter at Barbershop SPOR2. Hopefully everybody out there had a great Christmas holiday. Hopefully you got what you wanted. Hopefully you got to spend time with who you wanted to spend time with. Maestro, my brother, uh, how was uh, your holiday, man? How's everything? Um, uh, all things considered, the holiday was good. You know, a lot of people getting sick and you know all this Marion going on. So um, you know, you know that. That slowed down me seeing some of the people that I wanted to see, but I did get to see some people that I wasn't expecting to see. So shout out to those people. Um, and you know, it was you know it, it 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 didn't quite feel like the holidays, but you know. Yeah, I've kind of learned to accept the fact that Christmas is not for me anymore. A long, long time ago, so you know I'm cool with it, especially now with the kids and stuff. But I get a lot more enjoyment out of the fact that my kids get the enjoyment out of Christmas and stuff. So um, it was a quiet well, Christmas for me. I find my enjoyment in my people. Um, I, 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 My thing about Christmas and, and really all holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Memorial, all those types of holidays. Yeah. Um, I don't really look forward to spending time with my family until those holidays. That's That's what I realized about me. Um, not that I don't love my family, you know, obviously I love my family and, you know, I, I, but the opportunity to fellowship with family, I look for, that's what I look forward to these types of holidays for. Yeah. And, um, and I did that. So, you know, for all yeah. intents and purposes, like I said, not necessarily with everybody that I wanted to, but, of course. um, yeah. you know, but I, I did get some fellowship in and that, and that's, that's would be, that would be key for me. In, in the holidays, not necessarily gifts. I, I obviously, like you said, you know, at that at this point, it's truly about giving. At this point, so, it's about um, giving. And it's, it's about the kids <laughs> at this point. Yeah, <laughs> but but you know, like I said, the opportunity to kick it with some with family um, was that's that's always good. So I did do a little bit of it. Yeah, and hopefully, everyone that was sick during the holidays, that everyone feels better. Um, yeah. Take care of your health. Take care of your mentals. Um, eat your vitamins. Drink your water. All that good stuff. Hopefully, everybody you know gets well and gets back. You know, gets back on track and everything. So, um, but aside from all that, now that now that I kind of got that out of the way, uh, which defense was the worst on Sunday? <laughs> was it uh, was it the Ravens defense? Was it? Uh, your your Steelers defense, or was it the Washington football team defense? Yeah. <laughs> it was the Steelers, man. I, I'm sorry, I watched the Steelers game. It was the Steelers, man. It was the Steelers, man. I I, I would love to sit here and you know, but you man, watched that I game get it. from beginning to end. I'm sure. Well, I, I watched the I watched the um the Cowboys and uh, football the Washington game. I watched that too. Mm-hmm. Or I, I watched as much of it as I was going to watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, when yeah. it got up into them ridiculous numbers, it was just like, oh, all right. Yeah. But, um, nah, we are bad. We're bad. Um, we're bad. It, there's just, just no other way to slice it. We're bad. Um, <laughs> you know, we're bad. We're a bad team. I hate that I got to keep saying it over and over again, but it's really just how I feel. We're a bad team. Uh, we're, uh, we can't tackle. We get pushed around. Uh, Minka Fitzpatrick is leading the team in tackles because running backs consistently get past our first and second level. They throw on us how they want. You know, it, it, we're, we're a bad defense. Well, some people will give my defense a break. Um, I, I, I kind of don't want to give them a break, and I understand that we had guys that was working at Coles and 
and Sears, you know, fresh off the, you know, bakery, you know, suiting up for my defense, you know, kind of late, you know, leading up to the game. Um, yeah, that, that, that was just bad. That that was. I mean, I would give y'all, I would give y'all the pass. Um, I get why you don't want to. Um, that was but, bad, man. I mean, let's be clear, man. It y'all, I don't want to make this a who played worse situation, but like you said, y'all defensive backs, man. No, I don't know these dudes. And then uh, I think and then a and I think a it was Avery who went down in the game. Yeah, Avery got like, hit in the ribs by uh, the tight end. I, f- I forget his name. Uh, Uzoma, Uzoma or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, he got yeah. hit in the ribs. So I mean, y'all, yeah. y'all, are, y'all, are, y'all are injured. Y'all are just injured. Um, Man. Uh, we have injuries. We for certain do have injuries, but I'm not gonna sit here and, and play a. Who's more injured? Competition is clearly that y'all the more injured team. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm, and and on top of that, Trey, and and it's not to say that y'all didn't need that game. We needed that game against Kansas City. Yes, yeah. I understand. I, from from a standing standpoint and where y'all at within the you know yeah, with the AFC we needed, we needed that game. All that yeah, stuff. we yeah. needed that game. Yeah, I I, I, I that understand game. that. So, I understand that. And, and what's crazy is, you know, kind of speaking of that, after that game um, against the Bengals on Sunday, I, I'm, I'm shocked that we was even still in the number seven spot, um, you know, up until last night. And, you know, I'll, I'll talk about the Dolphins in a little bit. Um, but that that was just, to me, like, like damn, like we, we've lost four in a row. And yet, we're we're still the seventh seed in the conference. That from everybody from like six to thirteen is just kind of beating each other up, you know, these last few weeks, and and it's looking like it's going to continue like this, you know, these final two weeks. But um, but yeah, man, I I didn't I didn't like it. I understood it, you know. I I understand we had guys off the street and all that, but man, could we at least get the punter out there? Like, could, could, could we see the at least at least y'all got to you know see Kansas City's punter a couple of times like uh, yeah but it, I mean we couldn't even see we couldn't even see the punter for Cincinnati all day and then the drive yeah. where we finally like hold them to a field goal where we missed the field goal where where they missed the field goal on the next drive for us. Um, we, we turned the ball over. Now, I'm, I'm not going to put that in the hands of Josh Johnson, who, by the way, played a good game. Like, it, right. this, this, this loss had nothing to do with... Nothing to do with the quarterback. Josh yeah. Johnson at all. At, at all. I mean, the first drive of the game for us, I mean, the throws, the patience, like, um, whatever elusiveness he has left at 35 years old... Um, to escape from you know some of the defenders like that that was a shock to me that he you know eleventh day coming into the team getting into the playbook for as limited time as he did and to come out Sunday and just kind of like be in sync with guys that really haven't been in sync with the other quarterbacks you know on the roster so. Um, you know, I, I, I give Josh Johnson all the credit, but this was not, um, this was not his fault. This was not his doing at all. This was, this was just the Bengals just kind of doing whatever they wanted to, to our defense. It didn't matter if it was fourth and goal. It didn't matter if it was fourth and 16. It, 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 it didn't matter, bro. I mean, they was out there toying with us. They said, Hey, let's just go for it. You know? And all he does is chuck it up, and the dude is open. Like, I don't know if you saw the, the Tyler Boyd touchdown. I think it was the second touchdown yeah. of the game for them. Mm-hmm. The dude's wide open. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm like, anybody? Anybody put a hand on this dude? Cover him? It's it's, it's crazy, man. Like, yeah, y'all had, I mean, Joe Burrow, um, T. Higgins, obviously, did he get the two hundred yards that game? I think he did get the two hundred yards that game. No, he didn't receiving. But he didn't. No, he didn't. But they almost had three guys get a hundred yards. Yeah, 
They called they called back the Tyler Boyd touchdown that would have put him over a hundred. Yes, I did see that. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the boy had five hundred twenty five yards passing. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, but it was against you know guys that probably never gonna get the play again. <laughs> right. So I mean, you know, but that but that's my point. It's hard for me to yeah. say y'all you. had the, the 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 worst defense and y'all was hobbled. Yeah. I mean, you know, like badly hobbled, like like you said, guys who are probably never going to play yeah. uh, a meaningful snap or have them, you know, again. These right. guys might right. not get to play again. And, um, you know, as opposed to my guys who a lot of them have been playing majority of the year. Right. Maybe not starting, but have had significant snaps in the year. Yep. Um, it's just hard. And, and, and I can't leave alone the op- that they needed this. They needed this game. Mm-hmm. Um, and now we're in a winner, winner, go home situation next week. So it's just, you know. Yeah. Well, let, let's, well, before I get into the scenarios, um, to just talk about the Washington football team's defense for a second, um, they definitely played some bad defense uh, Sunday night. Yeah, I think I, that I think if I had to rank it out, I'd give the football team two. But my reason for giving them two second worst is, I mean, but it's literally because for some reason, um, everybody who's you know Dak's been off past couple of weeks, all that. Yep. Literally all of that went out the window. Yeah. Dak was on fire. <laughs> right. I don't. I. I. I mean, I legit think he would have did that to most defenses that night. Yeah, I think he would have did that to most defenses that night. He was on point. He was yeah. on point Sunday night. Yeah, he had niggas he on point. about to fight on the sidelines. Like that's how. Yeah, that's how bad it was. <laughs> Well, that I, I I'll admit that that's that's a culmination of the past two weeks too, though. You know, like, yeah. Uh, Philly gashed them the week before, mm-hmm. and and they know, had some guys yeah. out during that Philly game too. They had some guys on COVID list that were unable to play in that game too, and then they had to move the those, game. So those two guys were there. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne, they mm-hmm. were there. Um, there had been uh, former college uh, teammates, by the way, right? Teammates, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had been having conversations about it. Um, in the media yeah. uh, leading up into the Sunday game. Um, and, and it's not to be taken lightly that they had just played a Tuesday game and then here they were Sunday night. Yeah. Um, on top of the fact that Dak was on his A game. Dak was on his A game. Um, that's probably the best I've seen Dak play since earlier in the year. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously. I don't even think that's a... I think that's <laughs> the best I've seen him play since early in the year. Um like there, it seemed like he ready for the playoffs. Yeah, right. Seemed like he ready. Seemed right. like he ready to go. Mm-hmm. Seemed like he ready to go. I, I think he going. I think you going to get a lot of that, a lot of that energy and efficiency um, throughout the playoffs, regardless of where they go in the playoffs, how far they go in the playoffs. Yeah. Shout out to uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Shout out to that too. Um, that yeah. was that was a that was a clinic Sunday night. Forty two points in the first half. And I ain't gonna front, bro. I'm I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, go for sixty. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. Go go for go for yeah. sixty points. Uh, you know, yeah. maybe that'll maybe that'll force them to release the report, <laughs> as as they say, uh, mm-hmm. you know, surrounding the Washington football team. But uh, yeah, that that was a clinic. So shout out to them. Um, let me uh, get to these comments here real quick. Uh, Facebook Live chat. Uh, shout out to the homie Anthony Price. Uh, shout out What's to Mo Cheese. Shout out to uh, Mocha Bella in the chat. Appreciate you. Happy, Mocha Bella. Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. Um, Anthony Price has a question, actually. He says, uh, do you agree with your last three losses on the coach going for it and not for the tie? So he's talking about the Ravens' uh Last three losses before the Bengal loss, where we went for it on, uh, went for the two points against the Steelers, went for the two points against Green Bay, and then the Browns game went for it on a drive before the final drive where before we took the part. lead on it. Um, listen, I, I love the aggressiveness, um, Anthony. I just don't like the fact that they were obvious with what they were doing with the play calls. 
Like everything was designed for just Mark Andrews. And Green Bay sniffed it out. Um, the Steelers um, knew. Did what not. They did not. What, well, no, I don't well, think they knew. I knew. Uh, they didn't know. Uh, okay. He was wide the hell open. Okay. I, okay. I, I, we'll, we'll agree to disagree on that. I, I think the Steelers <laughs> knew and just kind of let him free anyway, but that was on us for not, you know, being able to, con, you know, execute there. And then the Browns situation, um, it was too early to go for it in that situation. Um, I would have waited until the final drive where you had to go for it. This way you're not chasing possessions. So I agree with the coach going for it. I just don't like the dis- I don't like the play call that took place and I don't like particularly in the Browns game where he went for it too early in the fourth quarter there. You was about to say mm-hmm. something, Maestro? Oh no, I was just gonna say I I think it was a con- I think the question is a question of uh, being aggressive as opposed to just taking the safe way out. Um, yep. And I, I think we both agree, even as a Steelers fan, um, that if you got that type of team, like I, I remember when we, we would, obviously we were together when we watched the Steelers Ravens game. Yeah. And, um, you know, if it's always my conversation of if you're the better team, A, be the better team. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was certainly the case with Pittsburgh. Now with the Browns and the Packers, Obviously, that's a different conversation. Yeah. But um, I, I, you know, John Harbaugh's thing is, is that if the team feel like they could do it, let the let the players play. Yep. Um, you you got to respect that as a consumer. Mm-hmm. I mean, even the social media posts, um, Ravens dot com, there was a video of Harbaugh asking his guys, "Hey, what do we want to do here?" And kind of like you alluded to last week, the players. They always want to go for it. Like you, you can yeah. ask, you can ask the kicker. You well, no, you can't ask the kicker. The kicker wants to kick. Can't ask the kicker. <laughs> you can't ask the yeah. kicker that. But yeah, you can. You can ask the. You can ask the offensive lineman. You can ask the. You can ask the defensive back. That everybody wants to go for it. So um, it's just a matter of. I mean, it's always like this. Hindsight is twenty twenty. But mm-hmm. uh, once you start not executing and losing games because of your lack of execution, is when you still when you got to take a a real look at this situation. And yeah. I think it's safe to say mm-hmm. um, that y'all got to start looking at that situation now because you lost three games because of it. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think that any team that does it, like, for example, in the Chargers example against the Chiefs a couple weeks ago, um, to me that just seemed more that they was doing it on a motion versus not getting a feel for the game. And just saying, hey, it don't matter. We not kicking field goals. We going for it. Like we not because every every not time like they too. went for it, they were in field goal range. So yeah. you know, like, but I like, some, but I like that. But I like I like that energy too. As mm-hmm. a consumer, maybe it's not the smartest thing, but mm-hmm. I like it. I you think know, you said the right thing football. there. I think you said the right yeah. thing there. As a consumer, we we like it, but. I, I think yeah. when you're, if you're a fan of the Chargers, I think you're kind of looking at it like, okay, let's get a feel for the game here. Like the Chiefs offensively up to that point haven't been killing anybody except for the Raiders twice. So how about we just <laughs> take the points where we can take the points? But I understand the aggressiveness and particularly the first play where Parham got, um, you know, knocked out of the game. That was a ball that he caught. Had he not hit his head on the turf, and I and I think that's what it may have led to him saying, "Oh, this this can work. Let's continue to go for it when we have, you know, those opportunities." Mm-hmm. Um, Mocha Bella had a question. Well, really, it's not a question. She's like, "How come your Ravens let Burrow put up five twenty five? It's a bad defense. <laughs> had people uh." It's, it's- <laughs> It's so funny. It's so funny now. All of a sudden, they she, they, her team is in the playoffs, and she's on here ready to talk trash. Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's I'll talk accept it. it. Yeah, I'll accept it though. Yeah, yeah. Let, well, let, 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 let's talk about it though. Let's let, let's let's talk about Miami because I, I I remember getting on here a few weeks ago, and at like one and five, I think they were one and five, and you know it wasn't looking good for them. But I looked at the schedule and I said, 
you know what? They could probably make up some ground if they could start beating some of these bad teams that was coming up on the schedule. And then after the 1-5 and five start, you had the Jaguars in London. They lost that game. And then you had the Falcons. They lost that game. So it's like, okay, you lost to two bad teams. So at this point, I, I, I don't believe you at this point. And then here they That's come and racking off six straight wins. Was it six now or seven straight now? Uh, I think it's seven. Seven straight, yeah, because they're, they're eight and seven. I want to say it's yeah. seven. Yeah, because yeah. they're eight and seven, yeah. Yeah, so they've, they've racked off seven straight wins, and they're the number seven seed right now. Yeah. But we're talking about we don't, we believe in making the playoffs. That's what we're talking about. Yes, yeah. So. Okay. I don't think okay. I, don't, I, I don't think they're gonna get I don't think they're gonna make it though. Um, I I somehow some way I feel confident we could beat the Rams <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> wow. I, I, what's that? Wow. I, I said I, wow. I, I'm, oh, I, th- I thought you said how. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't. Well, that was that that wow was implying how. Yes, oh, but um, I I just got a feeling, bro. I, I don't know. Maybe it's something intuitious or something. I I, I don't know. I I, I got a feeling that uh, mm. I, I I got a strong feeling that uh, I think you're gonna get your Rams. feelings hurt, bro. Okay, I think you're gonna get your feelings hurt. Hey, that's that's why I watch these games, man. Yeah, yeah. I put too much emotion in these games, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely think you're gonna get your feelings hurt, bro. I'm not even gonna play no games with you. I think your feelings are gonna be hurt this on this one. Uh well look well look if 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 my team doesn't and I hope it, I'm right if the if the if if my team doesn't get that seven spot because let's let's face it I think the New England Patriots are gonna get one of the wild cards at this point um and and and, and by the way a uh, big win for Buffalo on Sunday too that was a that was yeah, a big time sure. win for them um I think the Patriots are gonna be one of the wild cards. I think the Indianapolis Colts are going to be one of the other two wild cards. So it's really, how many teams is it? It's seven teams for one spot now. Fighting for one spot. Yep. Um, yep. If if it's not us, it, then if it's Miami, I could live with that. If it's if it's the Chargers, I I I, I can live with that. Um, if it's Pittsburgh, I can't live with that. If it's Cleveland, I can't live with that. So, it, it, any one of those teams, but those two teams, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with getting that final spot. Well, I don't think it's going to be Pittsburgh, but man, let me tell you, if it's Pittsburgh, you ain't going to be able to tell me nothing until that first wild card when we lose the first round. I was going to say <laughs> you're going to be you're going to be like the way uh, you was with the Wizards when they won the playing joint. And then yeah. you go up against the Sixers. <laughs> That's exactly how tell you me nothing. be. <laughs> hey, hey, but I ain't having expectations to begin with. I'm just going to celebrate the victories. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess. I guess. Here go Mocha Bella. Your Ravens not going to beat the Rams. Yeah. We not favored. Yeah. That's for certain. We not favored. We not favored. Hell, so. hell. We not favored against Cleveland on Monday night. Really? So, you know, we uh, underdogs by three. Really? Wow, mm-hmm. I th- I think Cleveland's a mess right now. Uh, you don't think Pittsburgh a mess? Yeah, but I mean, you believe in Baker Mayfield right now? <laughs> that man. You believe in our defense right now? <laughs> that man. That man cost his team a win on on Christmas Day, man. <laughs> uh, hey, man, I, I'm just. Look, <laughs> my team is bad, bro. My team is bad. Yeah, I, well, I think everybody in the division is bad. It, it sounds like except for Cincinnati, right? But right, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I I think so. So who's eight and seven? So Ravens are eight and seven. The Chargers are and yeah. and the Chargers got to get the smoke right for losing to the Texans. Right? They they got to get the mm-hmm. smoke right because sure you 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 because at this point I don't care about. Season predictions. I don't care about who's a sleeper, who's not a sleeper, because at this point we know who the Chargers are. At this point, we know they got a good quarterback, young stud quarterback. We know they got weapons 
on the outside. They got a couple good running backs, even though one of them, I think, was on the COVID list for the game on Sunday. Um, and we know defense is, you know, kind of so-so. Like, they can't stop the run, but, you know, they got some, you know, pieces in the secondary. Derwin James is pretty good, too, but he, I think he missed the game also. Um, at this point in the season, you can't lose to the Houston Texans at this point. Unless you're not real. Unless you're not real. You can't. And, and, and that, that's the case. They, 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 you know, we see them, but we don't believe them. Like. I never believed them, bruh. You know. I never believed them. It was the reason, it was the reason, not the, not the rehash old conversations. Yeah. But it was the reason why I I couldn't, I, I couldn't let you keep saying the Chiefs the Ravens and the Chargers. I couldn't keep letting you say it. These Bamas is not on that list. Well, look, they certainly had the offensive pieces, the weapons to do so. Um, and I and I certainly didn't think they was gonna be in my top seven of the AFC in terms of making the playoffs. I I thought they'd be a sleeper, which I guess technically I'm kinda right in this regard that they're still hanging around. And that they probably, of the teams that's got eight wins right now, have the easier schedule of the, you know, eight and seven teams. But mm-hmm. that, yeah, that, that was, that, that was awful, bro. That, that was, that was the worst loss of the weekend, if you ask me. Nobody, nobody um, expected that. I guess, that. I, nobody yeah, expected I guess that. Time, yeah, upset, yeah. Yeah, upset, yeah. yeah. The upset of the weekend, by far, <laughs> what was that? Mm-hmm. So no disagreement. So the teams that's eight and seven. So the Ravens, we got the Rams, and we got Pittsburgh. Um, the Chargers well, seven seven and one. The Chargers got um, they got Denver and they got the Raiders to close out. That that seems like that's the easier of the you know of the schedules there. Division um, games though. That that is true, and 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 they did lose to Denver. Earlier this year too, so you know I I don't know what to make of it, but Denver Denver seems like they're such a mess themselves too, you know with, with the with the quarterback situation and yeah I I, I don't know I, I don't know how to handicap that game, but um so so the Dolphins so they got the Titans I think this coming week and then they close out mm-hmm. against the Patriots. So that's not an easy schedule for Miami right there. Um, the Titans are kind of scuffling themselves uh, down the stretch here. Um, that was a big win for them, though, against uh, San Fran the other day. They, they, they had yeah, to, I'm they had to say, have I mean, I, I, I think they realize they got to have these games, though. Yeah, yeah, but, they. I mean, well, A.J. Brown is back, so that certainly um, helps a lot. That, that certainly helps there. But Julio is on a COVID list. Um, still no word on if Derrick Henry is going to come back or not. I'm, I'm thinking we probably would hear something by now. But I guess it's still too early for that. Um, so they got that. And then there's another team that's 8-7 and seven that, um, that I'm skipping on. So what's Denver? Denver 7-8. and eight, uh, Cleveland 7-8. Um. and eight. And nah, that's you that always remembers this. I don't remember this half the times. I'm, I'm, I'm about to pull it up. Pittsburgh seven, seven, seven and one. Seven and one. So basically seven yeah. and a half. So basically, I'm, basically yeah. you're seven and a half and seven and a half. Basically, so, so yeah. So really, for y'all, right? I mean, if if you want to dream about this, um, you, you you're probably rooting for oh the Raiders. The Raiders is eight and seven. That's right. They won. Um, yeah. They they won, they won last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, they, and they beat the Browns by a, a field goal there the previous week. So, yeah. So, um, for this scenario to happen, so I guess you guys would have to win. And Obviously. You, so You'd have to win out. You, yeah, you'd have to win out. But I'm just saying yeah. for the sake of you guys jumping to the seventh seed after this coming weekend – you're gonna need you're gonna need the Colts to beat the Raiders, which is highly possible. I just heard Carson Wentz is on the COVID list, so I think he's not yep. gonna play. Um, I, not gonna I don't play. think that makes a difference because that's Jonathan Taylor's team, and I and I mean that when I say that. That's Jonathan um, Taylor's team. I hear you. <laughs> I, it is his team, but I think Carson Wentz does 
at quarterback does help. I, I, I'm not going. I'm not going to throw Carson. Who's their backup? Like that though. Uh, I have no clue. Okay. I have no clue. Yeah, I guess it depends on that. Because if the backup is that much worse than him, then <laughs> yeah, you, you're probably right. They, they, they probably got no. Uh, well, how bad are you going to say Carson Wentz has played? How? What do? You, how do you? Um, it's not that I think his... he's bad. It's that oh, okay. I'm about been... to say he's had a regular season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The numbers are good. The the numbers are good. Yeah. But I I think if you have to ask him to you know get in the shootout every week. You know, 35, 40 times a game, I don't think he can do that. But of course, but of course, he's not going to have to do that anyway. They got an MVP caliber running back, right? right. Now. And, and which is why I say I think if he doesn't play and Jonathan Taylor is in this game, I think they have just enough to beat the Raiders. Okay, now nah, it just felt like you were shading Carson Wentz is more what I was getting at. Oh, and I don't think Carson oh, Wentz deserves shade. No, no, shade no. This I wasn't year. shading him in that way. I'm just okay. saying I don't think I, I, I think they can beat the Raiders without Carson Wentz. Again, okay, this is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so yeah, so you're gonna need that to happen. You're gonna need the Titans to beat the Dolphins. You're gonna need the Rams to beat us, and you're gonna need the Broncos to beat the Chargers. That's going to be the toughest one. Broncos being the Chargers, all those yeah. other games seem seem pretty fathomable to me. Yeah, all the other ones are highly you know possible and you yeah. Know, but the you know what the biggest issue is is that somebody could end up on the COVID list like right now. Sure. Or but I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and, <laughs> and think about the the what ifs of who's going to be on the COVID list. I know, but that just seems like that's been. It's sure, been like it's the most thing consistent now. thing. It's been the most consistent thing throughout the season is that somebody is on this COVID list that affects how a game goes, you know, week to week. So, you know, we'll, I mean, we'll see. But all those scenarios um, are likely to play out with the exception of the Broncos beating the Chargers. Um, but it's it's why I say I think the Chargers have the easiest path to get the 10 I, I think to get the to get the seven spot someone's got to get the 10 uh, unless all y'all lose this week unless uh, right right um, unless yeah unless that's because we're not happens. getting the 10 because we're not getting the 10 because right because the worst the the highest y'all can get is nine and a half so. nine yeah nine just nine <laughs> nine and a half bro that half makes a I mean, difference <laughs> That half makes a difference, bro. <laughs> it's still gonna be when you, when you look at the record books. It's not gonna say nine and a half. It's gonna say nine seventy one. I mean, I feel you what you're trying to do, but what do you mean that is basically you basically would have to get nine. I understand and a half what wins. you're trying. Yeah, I get that. It's not a try. Said. That's what it is. That's how it's. That's how I interpret it as the tie well, is basically it. the tie is basically a half a win, a half a loss. That's basically what a tie is. That's obviously what a tie is. I'm just saying that just you saying nine and a half, and that's never going to show in the stat book. It's yeah, always going to say nine. Of course, seven they're not going to put the one yeah. with the slash and the two. Yeah. Of, course, of course, they're not going to no, do that. I, <laughs> I'm just saying you you corrected me when I said nine, and it was like, bro, it is nine. They're never going to show nine and a half on the stat book. Oh, okay, if if you want to get that technical, cool. They're never going to show. I the mean, half. that's not that's not <laughs> that's not technical. That's literal. They're that's gonna, literal. They're not going to show the half. But that right. one tie is gonna like if if the Chargers get to nine semantics if the Chargers semantics. get to nine and the Steelers get to nine y'all get the breaker over it because of the tie. <laughs> but it's still gonna be nine though. Is my point? Sure, sure. Semantics, but, semantics, Trey. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I digress. I, I digress. Uh, what, what, what else you got, bro? <laughs> Well, we did all this AFC talk. I guess we got to respectfully do NFC talk, even though the NFC is pretty um, pretty locked up. Five spots, at least, are pretty much locked up. Um, mm-hmm. I think we are talking about the six and seven, the Niners. Um, uh, let's, let's, let, let's talk about who's still there. Give me two seconds. Yeah, so the Niners um, are the sixth seed right now. And, uh, Niners are the sixth right now. And the Philadelphia um, Eagles, Eagles are the number say, seven seed yeah. right now. At eight and seven, and they got and they got 
Washington this week. They got they're the probably going to football team. Probably going to beat. Probably going to beat him. Probably going to beat up on them again. Yep. Um, and then Dallas. Do we to close feel out. like and okay. So do we feel like anybody else has a shot? I'm looking at the standings. Uh, My Saints, answer is no. Saints are Saints. seven and eight, but they don't have a quarterback and. Mm-hmm. Um, but the schedule, but the I mean the schedule. What Carolina and Atlanta is their final yeah, they're two? Not going. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I, I mean, mean, look, forg- forgive me, forgive me for my for my dismissiveness of the, of those seven and eight teams. But I, in my mind, mm-hmm. uh, it's lo- it's pretty locked up. The Niners and the uh, and the uh, Eagles are going to be uh, six and seven. Mm-hmm. So, so, the, so what the Niners have? They got the Texans this week, and then Tex- they close out against the Rams. I think, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe, so maybe we flip. Depend. Well, because uh, doesn't Philly they got the football team and the Cowboys? Yes, they do. Okay. They do. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I still feel the same way. Then. Yeah. They're, they're, now, they're, if you're asking me who I want to see in the playoffs, I want to see Jalen Hurts in the playoffs. I don't want to see Ian Book in the playoffs. I don't. I don't, don't want to see none of them quarterbacks about. for the Saints in the playoffs. Oh. I don't oh, that's who their quarterback is, Ian Book. Yeah, I don't. I don't, okay, don't want to see them. Yeah, like if you're asking me who like exciting players, Jalen Hurts is a guy I want to see in the playoffs. Uh, I'm also asking you who you feel is going to be there, not necessarily who you want to see, but who you think is going to be there. Oh, I think it's going to be the Eagles. I, I think what yeah, you the Eagles see and there, the Niners, right? I think what you see there right now is what it's going to be after Week 18. Yeah, I really, I, 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 I really do. Um, I Minnesota, they they don't got a shot because they got Green Bay this week, and then they close out uh, against the Lions, I think, or the Bears. I can't remember which one, but yeah, they're not beating Green Bay. So mm-hmm. I mean that that's gonna put them at seven and nine, and I think at that point it's just they're just gonna be eliminated at that point. So. Yeah, right. I don't I don't buy them. Um, aren't the Falcons somehow seven and eight? They're seven and eight. Yep. Yeah. I don't know their schedule though. Um, they're in Buffalo this weekend, and wow. I think they close out against. Is it the Bucks? I I think they close out against the Bucks. So. Oh, so that's two losses. Okay. So yeah, it's it's no no no. They close out against the Saints. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. This is it's the Saints. Man, so. you are good at remembering the schedule stuff, man. Uh, I, I I try, man. This stuff gets hard sometimes, but. But yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't buy the Falcons getting that spot. Yeah. So I don't buy any of these teams, but the teams that are there. Yeah. And it just so happens that Philly's playing good football right now, and it just so happens that the Forty ers are playing good football. So. Yep. Yep. And 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 even like if you talk about like, eye appeal, I want to see the Niners in there because their offense, like in terms of their running backs, is exciting to watch. Like their offense. Even though it's not like uh, it's not it's not a West well I don't know if it's a West Coast offense or not but it's it's one of those offenses that you know Shanahan is scheming can scheme it up and they could put you know they could put some points on the board so mm-hmm. yeah I, I, in terms of appeal those are the teams I want to see get there right so right so I I I think we're kind of settled there I agree um, I agree so the Cardinals lost again. On uh, on Christmas to the Colts, mm-hmm. um, and, and that's a reasonable loss, though. And yes, it is. It, it's it's definitely a reasonable loss. Um, someone had to clinch a playoff spot for them. Um, they couldn't do it th- on their own, so you know they're in. Mm. But um, I, I I don't see this team going far. Like I think they're I think they're an automatic first round exit at this point. I thought they always were, so you know, uh-huh. I'm not gonna sit here and I'm, I'm not surprised. Uh, yeah. I'm not surprised that uh, that that that's the case. I don't. I, I mean, I, they're a good football team, obviously, mm-hmm. but I don't think they're. I mean, it's not like I, I get the hoopla and they was doing so well mm-hmm. in the beginning of the year, first half of the season. Yeah. Um, but I didn't look at this team and think, oh, this is a Super Bowl caliber team, or this is a team that's gonna go deep in the playoffs. I I never believed that. So mm-hmm. this is just par for the course for me. Yeah. Par for the course for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do I still want to see him perform in the playoffs? Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah. I mean, they're one. I mean, why wouldn't you? They're still one of the better teams in the NFC. Period. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Regardless of the streak they're on, they're still uh, they're still one of the better teams in the league. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So they got Dallas this weekend, and then they got the uh, Seattle to close out. I mean, they might they might sneak a win by the, sneak a win by Dallas because Dallas locked up. I mean, maybe they think they got a chance to get the uh, one seed, and they might play for that. But mm-hmm. um, right, I mean, I, right. I can't. I, I don't see that they have a chance getting the one seed because I think the Packers are going to win out. So yep, I agree with that. So Packers won. Who's two? Dallas is two right now, right? Dallas is two. Yeah, and Dallas is two. And the Rams is saying. three, and the yep. Bucks is four. Number oh, four. Yep. Okay. That's that's interesting. Who do you? I got, I got a question. Who, who do you think the league wants in the in the NFC Championship game? You would think they would want Brady versus Rodgers, right? Um, I think they want Rodgers and Dak. That's what I think. Rodgers and Dak. Okay, I I, I can't that's argue I against think. that. I, I can't argue against that. It's the Cowboys. You know they draw eyeballs. America's team. Yep. America's team. They're playing exciting football. Michael Parsons is a. Uh, not, he's already defensive rookie of the year. I don't care what nobody say, mm-hmm. but they want him to win defensive player of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rand, don't they also like, want the, um, Trayvon Diggs to win that award too? Sure. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, sure. I have a question so, for you I on mean, that too. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it just seems like the more seems it just seems like the more exciting football game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I I can't disagree with that. Um, I'll 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 still kind of stick with they want the rematch from last year because it's it's the old man versus the other old man. The other old man, though, right? Even though the other old man is seems to be more athletic. <laughs> Than the other old man. I think they like pa- I think they like passing the torch stories when they like old geezer versus old geezer. Right, right. I my personal opinion, and 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 for certain, um, Dak represents the young boy, the passing of the torch yep. type of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I. I, I mean, I, got I already you. got. I already got my my office. I already got the Chiefs, Dallas Cowboys being screamed all over my office for the Super Bowl, and that would be a great Super Bowl, by the way. But. I already got that being screamed all over my office. So. Oh, Chiefs and Cowboys? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what, man. I, I got a little bit of conspiracy theory because I still think the league is trying to get the Mahomes versus Rodgers matchup. Because <laughs> they've been trying to get it for like two years now. And every time they get it, either Rodgers doesn't get to the Super Bowl or one of these quarterbacks gets hurt. During the regular season, you know, when it's time for them to, you know, meet up in the regular season matchup. So, I I think the league, if you're talking Super Bowl, I think they want Chiefs versus Packers. Mm. But Chiefs mm-hmm. versus Cowboys would be a, a great one, too. I think that's going to be a good, I think that's going to be a good game. I, I Two mean, black and, quarterbacks and, and for in the a, Super Bowl, what? I mean... <laughs> But Chiefs, Chiefs and uh, Chiefs and Packers would be good too. I, I for me, I think Chiefs and Cowboys, um, bec- especially because Dallas got a pass rush. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's going to be a better game. Yeah, no, I, I got you. I, I, I got you. So, so like okay, so like I said, Rams is three, um, Bucks is four, Dallas is two in that you know in the standings. I'm I'm just thinking because that would be. Because then Brady and Rodgers would sort of be like a, a division around matchup if everything kind of, you know, played itself out right. Yeah, but and, they don't got no running game right now in Tampa. Yeah, well, they signed Le'Veon Bell, but I ain't seen him on the field yet. They ain't got no running game in Tampa. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> please... They got Tom Brady. Please don't, please don't, <laughs> please don't. About to say, please don't respond to my to me saying they don't have a running game with Le'Veon Bell. Respectfully, yeah. with all respect due to Le'Veon Bell, I, I don't think Le'Veon Tom Bell. Bell. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, stick they, they to Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. They don't That's got it. They don't got God. See, they though. got Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they don't got Godwin, but they got Aaron Rodgers. Devontae Adams is still there. Aaron Jones is still there. AJ Dillon is still there. Mm-hmm. They 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 got they got their quote unquote necessary horses there. Yep. To play. Mm-hmm. Hey, getting to the um to the Cowboys. So you brought up Micah Parsons and we and I kind of brought in um, Trayvon Diggs. 
And it seems to me that the media has this talking point about defensive player of the year. Now, I know who you want um, to win defensive player of the year and, you know, would deservedly get it if he breaks this record, um, which, you know, I don't know if – because did he get any sacks? I don't think break the straight. No. He didn't get no sacks on Sunday? Saying, I think, no. Okay. I don't think he's going to get it. Okay. But, I mean, that's – I mean, 17 and a half sacks, that's what he's at right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's nothing to sneeze at. I mean, he could get he could get to legitimately two, three more sacks before the season's yeah. over. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. So I I know who you I know who you want and deservedly so to win the defensive player of the year. Um, right. I get the I get the sense that the media is pushing the defensive player of the year award towards whether it's Micah Parsons or Trayvon Diggs. And I, and I, and I kind of feel like it's a comparison to when Tom Thibodeau won Coach of the Year last season over Monty Williams. It kind of felt like it was the media driving it towards the more, uh, the more popular franchise, per se. I kind of feel okay. like this is what's happening here with you know that what you know with Dallas and 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 look if any of those players won it they would have deservedly won the award like you, you can't sniff at the accomplishments of those two guys in Dallas but it, it kind of seems like they're just shutting off the TJ Watt conversation for you know defensive player of the year I don't know if you get that same feeling but I don't get um but I don't, but I think where I think where you may be feeling that feeling is is that it's easy to give awards to winning teams. So uh, mm. with the Dallas Cowboys being the winning team, it would be easier to mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. So if you so if Trayvon Diggs won Defensive Player of the Year, um, I would get it, and and I would get your theory, your your sentiment. Um, I think for me, uh, it's going to be T.J. Watt, um, one, because of his accomplishments, but two, because he's the more uh, high caliber player, uh, popularity, popular player, let me say, is what I meant to say. He's mm-hmm. the more popular player right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Um, he was also slighted last year. I don't care what nobody say. Mm-hmm. Um, Who won it, last, won it year? last year? Aaron Donald. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, he definitely should have won it last year. Um so I, I think it's I think TJ Watt is going to win it on those on those things, um, and because you can give Michael Parsons defensive rookie, you know, defense rookie rookie of the year defense. Yes, yes, and you it, can do that. And it's and it and 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 you know some people wouldn't like it, but it be an achievement. He's you know just giving him rookie giving him player of the year in his rookie year. I'm not saying he don't deserve it. I'm just saying um, the the question is is did he I think he got to be. I think he got to be. Even even you got to be tenured to get that award, or you had to like blow it out the water to get the award. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And um and statistically, we know what Michael Parsons is on the field, but I think what what would hurt him um in getting Defensive Player of the Year is that a lot of the season they was having him cover tight ends and running backs as opposed to rushing the passer. Mm, and mm. so his stats, he in, in 13 sacks, ain't I think he had 13 and 14 sacks. That's nothing to sneeze at either. Right. But I think if he had he been rushing the passer all year, mm-hmm. he might be he might be the leading sack sacker this year. And um, yeah, I think that may hurt his cause. Yeah, as far as winning defensive player of the year. Yeah, yeah. So you're right. Um, some of it does, like with my comparison, it does kind of make me think about who's the more winningest team of the two teams, and obviously Dallas is, you know, fits that conversation. Um, but it's kind of more so. I guess for me, it was more so who's the more popular franchise. And I mean, really, you could you could kind of argue whether it's Pittsburgh or Dallas, but you you, you give Dallas the edge, just America's team. You know, everybody sure. you know knows that. Um, that's why even I though mean, even pa- though even though why I throw a little like why I throw a little shade in there uh-huh. that America's team title was offered to Pittsburgh first and they declined, but that's a whole another uh, conversation. I, I don't know nothing about that, but 
Um, that's a, it's a fact. It's a fun fact. But okay. I digress. Okay. okay. Uh, but that's why I made the comparison. Because like, when you look at the Suns and the Knicks from last season, obviously the more popular franchise is the Knicks. Yeah. And that's, that's sort of why yeah. I made that. Because you know, a lot of people feel um, different about you know, Thibodeau winning it over Monty Williams. Um, you and I have had, you know, battles about that. You know, we still kind of stand where we stand with that. But it, it, it kind of feels like um, NFL media, they're, they're, they're leaning towards Micah Parsons, Trayvon Diggs, and deservedly so. Yeah, it's not like they don't have the stats to back it up. So, I'm not, so yeah. um, what I feel slighted again, yeah, but I'm, I, at least the – you know, the Micah Parsons thing, mm-hmm. that's a thing right now. The yeah. Trayvon Diggs thing, the thing. Um, but still, I can't see them giving it to a cornerback. I just can't see them giving defensive player of the year to a cornerback. Mm-hmm. When was the last time a cornerback uh, won defensive player of the year? I, I don't know. That's that's, that's another reason why. I, uh, Ste- uh, Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore? Ago. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a couple years ago. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, and even before that, Tredavious White, I think. Even before that, Tredavious, Tredavious White, White might have won. It? Okay. In Buffalo, I think he might have, but I know for certain, Stephon Gilmore was about two years ago. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was kind of. Uh, he was with the Patriots, though, right? When he yeah, was and it, yeah, with New England. Yeah, okay. with New England. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, did um, I, I think I know the answer to this? Um, did you watch any NBA on Christmas? No. Okay, you that, do that's, know the that's what to I that's that's the answer I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, that that, that was what nah, I was looking I, for. I did not. Man, my my Christmas day up until up until I got to my my people's house was a blur. I I don't even really remember. And I and I be honest, I didn't even I wasn't drinking. I was just about I to ask you, was smoking. You <laughs> I wasn't drinking or smoking or nothing, but it was really a blur. A lot of that day was a blur. I remember I remember watching Martin. Mm-hmm. With, but which is that's kind of my weekend routine. So, ah, okay. Shout out, shout out to uh, Marty Mart. Uh, oh, we got we got some uh, we got some old uh, fans up in the Facebook live chat. We got Fame uh, Rothstein. You know that's Fame up at Prospect. Fame, what's happening? What up? What up? Uh, Ravens are crybabies. Okay, all right. I ain't even. Yep. Gonna... I I ain't even you know what now nah, I'm I'm gonna get the fame in a second. They got but they they got they got a real reason to be cry babies. But yeah, y'all crying. Okay. You got a but you got a legit reason. It's legit. I mean, it is legit. I mean, it's there's legit. no argument. It's legit. Nah, I'm, I, 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 got, I got a little bit of clap fact back for fame in a minute. But uh, we got Chief Rock of Jersey Vern up in here too, talking What's some happening? trash in here also. Both of y'all teams was buried. Yeah, yeah, and your your team is even. Uh, Buried, you know, I can't even, even deeper. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, I'm about to say, I don't think buried is a conversation for Chief Rockets team. Yeah, yeah. Talk about, like, almost almost cremated, almost. Like, nah, nah, Chief. I don't Oh, so. Are you trying to read or something? No, I, 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 I thought you were saying something. I wasn't, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, but... Okay, fame. I, I I'm 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 gonna get the fame for a second because they got a nice they got a nice team in Cincinnati. You know they got arguably oh yeah they got oh, arguably yeah. some of the best you know skill position players. Joe Mixon, T Higgins. The argument could be made that they got they got maybe the first or second maybe third best wide receiver core in the league. Yes, yes, I I, I totally understand that. I I get it. Jamar Chase. Is a stud. Joe Mixon is a top five running back in this league this year. Uh, Joe Burrow is the real deal. I I, I get all that. Um, look, fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta stop with this whole five hundred and twenty five yards thing. He threw it. He threw it to guys like you and I, bro. He was. He was. He was throwing it to guys like you and I. Like, come on, man. You gonna stop? Come hey. on. I'm gonna Come let you on, get man. it. I'm gonna let you get that off. I'm gonna let you get Come that on, off. Come on, man! Like, these these bro, players are they nothing all, they like all you over and I. my t- bro. They all the the Bengal Bengal Nation, if there's such thing as one, that they all over my timeline, man. They oh Joe Burrow five twenty five. I'm like, look, look, calm down, 
Calm down. Just I mean, but come on. Now, now I will say this. Uh-huh. Throwing 525 anywhere is crazy. It's crazy, but it's it's right. more impressive if you do it against real defensive talent. They don't got to be like, you know, pro bowlers, but they at least got to have some kind of experience, you know, playing in the league. These I guys. Mean, Tony Jefferson was there, bro. These guys was off Tony the Jefferson practice squad, there. bro. These Tony guys Jefferson was off was the there. practice squad. I don't want to. I don't want to hear Tony Jefferson's name right now in this conversation. <laughs> I don't. Wanna... I thought he would play a good run defense, man. He he got a sack. He, played... he got a sack. <laughs> He he got a sack. But I think it was he played on first a great down. fifth linebacker. He played great fifth linebacker. He got a sack on first in your down. It's it's all good. But listen, Fame. Look, y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead and enjoy that. Y'all y'all go ahead. You know, getting beat by the Chiefs next week. Y'all go ahead and enjoy a, a potential division AFC North title. Um, but it's gonna be the same old same old. Y'all gonna get into the playoffs, and y'all niggas is gonna get smoked in the first round. Or y'all, or y'all going home in the first round? It's gonna be the same old, same old stuff. That's that's what that's what Cincinnati teams do. And 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 don't. So think they would we, be ideally they would be the fourth seed, right? Uh, they are the three right now because they got the tiebreaker over Buffalo. Over Buffalo, okay. Yeah. So they ideally would play the Patriots. Six. The Patriots. Hmm. That's a good matchup. The Patriots, yeah. That's a good matchup, don't you? That's a good, that's a good matchup now. You, it, you it saying is. like they gonna get smoked? That's yeah. a good matchup now. They could, the Patriots could beat them. Cincinnati could beat the Patriots. Now I don't want to stay here and be caping for a, a rival, but Cincinnati could beat New England now. Uh, in the regular season, <laughs> and definitely right, in the regular please. season, it's playoffs, bro. Cincinnati don't know nothing about playoffs, man. It's it's been. It's been thirty years for them, bruh. They 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 know about failures when it comes to the playoffs. All their teams do that. The Reds <laughs> do it. Shit. The Reds do Talk it. Talk your shit. The Bengals do it. And and don't Talk think and don't think I'm not gonna watch Bama versus Cincinnati on New on New Year's Eve, I think they play the game. One one versus four. Bama about to get up in that ass, so don't don't think I ain't gonna watch that. Yeah, the Bearcats had a nice season. They finally got into the college football playoff, but that team is going to get smoked by Bama. Mm. So, Fame, take Don't that however shit. you want to take that, bro. Uh, <laughs> Chief Rocker says, uh, New England and all that. Come on, Trey. Why? Because they beat you twice? Well, we didn't play the Patriots this year, so I don't know what he's talking about. But but I digress. You, you got anything else, bro? Nah, man. Oh, oh, I do want to. Talk. I mean, I, I just, I just need uh, Montrez Harold to chill a little bit. That's about. That's about yeah, what, it. Yeah. What, what happened to Montrez? I mean, he got into it with Joel Embiid the other night. You know mm. what I'm saying? Uh, mm. Joel Embiid got a little physical with him in the post. He ain't like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, right. and, and they got they got into a little shoving match. That's all. It wasn't nothing. But all right. I it love wasn't it. nothing serious. It wasn't I love, nothing serious. I, I yeah. Love it. You know. Yeah. It wasn't nothing serious. Need, need some action. Montrez Harrell, you gotta chill. You gotta chill though, bro. No doubt. No and doubt. And I like Montrez Harrell. I like I I love that he's uh with the Wizards right now. But he gotta chill a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, y- 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 y'all kinda slid a little bit in the standings. I mean <laughs> when you say slid, slid meaning what? Like, cause I, I th- if I'm not mistaken, they right where I thought they'd be at. Uh well at the beginning of the season we was like teams, three or four our teams was number one number two and and for yeah, a few days like for early. a few days the Wizards was number one for a few days there yeah but that's yeah I don't care. I mean yeah, we, we knew they had number be seven number one but y'all yeah, was in the top right. four y'all was in the top four for a minute. Well I had us at number seven it's number I, I think I said number six on air we're at number seven right now at seventeen and number 16. seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, but if we're gonna talk about it, y'all at number uh, the at y'all yeah, are we at twelve right now. I know we at twelve. Oh yeah, yeah I got y'all at eleven right now. Oh, we at eleven. Okay. At eleven, yeah. But okay. out of the play in. Okay. Yeah. Um, I I I, I well key. What I'm sitting here looking at it, bro. Cleveland is in the is the, Cleveland is the five seat right now. 
Yeah, I, I noticed that right below, uh, I guess, yeah. Miami, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. so you know, you know, I ain't really been looking at it. So but, yeah, I, I'm gonna um, do some investigation on the Cavs and why on that Cleveland team, right? So, yeah, yeah, what they're doing. I'm, I'm gonna do some investigation on that because uh, Kevin Love is still on that roster. Um, Colin Sexton, I thought got hurt and is out for the season or something like that. So I, I, I gotta see why they're so good this year, or at least why they, you know, they're so good to start off the year so far, and why they've maintained it. So that you know, shout yeah. out to Cleveland. Well, I mean, it's still early. I mean, I mean, we're not gonna sit here and act like we we're not even midway. So it's still early. Yeah, yeah. They're there, Bulls and the Bulls and and the Bulls are are overachieving from my from my projections though. So. Overachieving? Oh, okay. Yeah, got you. Yep. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely overachieving. Yeah, they got you. But they upgraded that roster significantly. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I'm talking about before the season. I, I had, I didn't have them at two. They're at two right now. I had them at like. Oh, Milwaukee's eight. not at two. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, I thought, nah. I, thought... I think if I just read, it, let me, let me. Yeah, nah. Milwaukee's at three. Hmm. Okay. Milwaukee's at three. Chicago's at two. Oh, okay. All right. Charlotte up. is at Charlotte. Charlotte got the Charlotte is at eight. Mm-hmm. For whatever it's worth. Okay. All right. And Boston's in there. Somewhere, which means right? Atlanta. Which means Atlanta. Boston is a nine. Boston's nine. Okay. All right. Yeah, because I know they got they got beat by somebody. Yeah. I can't remember who recently. But, um, and, and then I know that I know I know Trey Young's been I think Trey Young's been hurt or COVID or something like that. Yeah, he's on COVID recently. Protocol. Okay, okay. He's, he's been on COVID. Yeah, we and and you know to the to the Hawks fans that want to say yeah if Trey was there, you know y'all wouldn't have won on Christmas. Okay, fine. He wasn't there, but I mean we definitely had some guys out on COVID. I mean, maybe not that particular game, but, you know, in recent uh, memory, we've had some players not play. Um, but I, I do want to give a shout out quickly to Kimba Walker. What the fuck? Did you hear this? What? What's going on? We got breaking news? John John Madden died? Really? I'm, I, I just happened to pull up, on, uh, pull up on Twitter. Rest in peace, John Madden. Oh wow. wow! They just they just had the um the special the documentary on, on Christmas, yeah. and I forgot to watch. Yeah, I forgot to watch that motherfucker. But son of a bitch! Wow! Rest in peace, John Madden. Wow! Yeah, rest in peace. Oh, okay. I just yeah, I just got something on my phone too, from the from the group chat. Wow! Son of a bitch! Wow! How? It... Rest in peace, John Madden, legend. That's that's crazy. Legend. That is that is crazy. Yep, yep. I, I see it on my timeline. Chibs just tweeted it. Yeah, that's 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 crazy. That's Dang. crazy. Eighty five years old. I I didn't know how old he was, but I knew he was up. Yeah, there. yeah. Wow. Rest in peace to the legend John Madden, man. Wow. Yeah, legend. Um, I mean, I I guess I guess the only thing I could say really is. Um, you know, from the broadcast football, from the, from the broadcasting point of view, I mean, that's really all I've known him to be other than the Madden game. And, you know, that obviously he's legendary for that. Um, but just, you know, you know, one of those, you know, commentators, um, you know, longstanding commentators. I know he was a coach back Man. in the day and all that, but. Um, you know, me coming up, it was the Madden game, and it was just him, you know, doing those Monday night games. With Pat Summerall. Yeah, some, you're right, when he was on Fox, too. Yeah, I forgot forgot about that. Yeah, before he um, started doing Monday night football for a little bit. And then he did uh, Sunday night, too. So, yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. They just aired the documentary on Christmas Day, and three days later, he passes away. I that, make sure that, I watch that, that man. What's that? Make sure I watch that. So I gotta make sure I watch it now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember you said that you was gonna peep that. Yeah, I forgot it came on though Christmas morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's man, that's 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 crazy. That's that's crazy. Yeah, rest rest in peace to the legend. Uh For John sure. John Madden. Rest rest in peace. For sure. Um, For sure. 
Yeah. So I don't know what you did with your video right there, bro. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what. It's I a lovely picture of your, a lovely picture of your okay, family. There bro. we go. There we go. I don't. I don't know what the hell happened there. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> shout out, shout out to my family. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but yeah, that that that's 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 crazy. Like, is that? I mean. Is that poetic justice? Like, not poetic justice. I would, uh, that's, that's uh, a bad word. That's rest bad in peace. Word. Rest, rest in word. peace. That's a bad rest word. Rest in peace. I'm just, John no, Maddie. They, they had the documentary days ago. Like, that. that they, yeah, I, I, yeah, just rest in peace to John. <laughs> yeah. We ain't even made it big yet, bro. You about to get us canceled, bro. <laughs> uh, well, that's probably why we're not going to get canceled because we're not big yet. <laughs> But Lord have mercy. But all right, I, I was about to talk. Oh, I was about to talk about Kimber Walker. Can, can we can we talk about Kimber Walker for for a minute? I guess I I, I guess I don't I, I feel I, my my heart is a little in a different place. I'm I'm starting to not care about. Hey, I know he had a great game and all those things, but I'm, I'm really not. Well, but go ahead and get your Nick shit off, bruh. More 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 importantly, more importantly, Tibbs. Took him off the bench like that. Like that's that's to me, that is a story for me. And it, and it and it goes beyond the Christmas game on Saturday. It it goes back to the forty four point performance that he had a few nights before that. Um, he also had another twenty nine point performance, and he dropped the triple double on Christmas Day. The first Nick Christmas double. Uh, the first Nick's triple double. For Nick on Christmas in in a long long time, so I just want to shout out Kemba Walker and my and my sure. man and my man had on the had on the baby blue do rag in the press conference like he was about to go back to Soundview Projects right after the press conference after the game. So shout out shout out to the homie there, man. Um, so I, I guess the question I have is was, was Tibbs wrong for putting him on the bench? Or was this just because I don't? I'm, you're asking me to speak about Nick's affairs, and I don't, I barely pay attention to my team. Uh, that you? Oh yeah, you, right. You I'm sorry. It's football it. season. I'm sorry. It's, it's still <laughs> we haven't got to the Super Bowl yet. I'm sorry. You asked, yeah, you, you asked me to give you a real a real opinion on, I'm, I'm on sorry. that, and I don't. I, I know he been playing like trash, but I know also that y'all have been playing like trash. The so team has I, been playing I, like trash. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, yeah. So that, you know, Evan, that's, Fo- that's, Evan that's, that's Fournier's still getting minutes. Like, like how was he? I told you he. I told you he was going to be trash, bro. I don't know why y'all I, y'all was real excited about Evan Fournier. Well, he's I'm trash like, on the defensive end. He's trash on the defensive end. <laughs> we we needed to get somebody that can you know shoot. <laughs> he could shoot. It's just you don't play defense. I, is he still is when you say shoot like he ain't a shooter, dog. Like we had that conversation. He can make shots. He ain't a shooter. Okay, he can, okay he can make shots. That's what we needed. Yeah. We we needed nah, offense. Yeah, I needed shooting. No, I think y'all needed shooting. Yeah, sure. I think y'all needed people who can who can stand, get to catch the ball and shoot. Sure. That's not necessarily Evan Fournier's game. He can make shots, but I wouldn't call Evan Fournier a shooter. Okay, okay. But I, I mean, with my own eyes, he can I've seen him catch and shoot. Maybe that's not his strength, but I've seen him do it. And we needed offense. We we need we needed some offense. So you know Do you feel like you've gotten better offensively? Uh, yeah, I know it's early. I know it's early. We've gotten asking. we've gotten better offensively, but defensively we've taken a nosedive. And uh. my my gripe with Thibodeau is is that you benched Kimber Walker for not defending, but you didn't bench Evan Fournier, who was also a bad defender. But who like you gonna that, put like in the place of Evan Fournier? Because Evan Fournier, Evan Fournier is seven foot, right? Uh, pretty close to it. That's a, that's a good question. I don't know how tall. You don't look. You don't look seven foot. But he a four, right? Evan Fournier, he's a two. Yeah, Evan Fournier is a two. Yes. Who am I thinking about? I don't know who you're thinking about. Evan Fournier is a two, bro. Okay, well that that's even more. That's even worse than I ain't even. Oh wait a minute. Hold on, sorry. That's even worse than. That's even worse. It's worse That's even what? worse. 
that he not a shooter and y'all got him as a, y'all got him to be a he shooter. He can score. He can score. <laughs> y'all need sure. He I'm not can saying score. He can. We need points. I'm not saying he can. <laughs> you need shooters. He can score. And that's what we lacked last year in the playoffs. <laughs> Yeah, and quite frankly, you. other than Duncan Robinson, well, when you who gonna, I wanted, when you gonna talk about when you gonna talk about Julius Randle though? Uh, Julius Randle, I don't. I've talked about him in the past few weeks, but um, yeah, he, he hasn't been playing great. Um, that's supposed to be your star though. Is more I know. what I'm getting at. I know he's your star. He, he hasn't been playing great. He hasn't been uh, playing I mean, the way he's been playing last year. I'm saying that to say is that you know. When I listen to you talk week by week about the Knicks, I hear you, and I'm not saying you've never mentioned Julius Randle. That's not what I'm saying. Right. I'm saying the focus has been on the Kimball Walkers, on the yep. Kimball Walk. It's been on Kimball Walker. It's been more of the Kimball Walker. And I don't know if that's a, because that's what they report media wise, but mm-hmm. I take it because I know you watching the games. Um, yeah, Kimball Walker has been bad, and he's been the I guess the attention getter, but the star on this yeah. team. Is Julius Randle, and he's it don't seem like he's catching no smoke. Um, it don't seem like he, and he's not performing, okay? Yeah, I, I think the media is giving him smoke. Um, and if, if I, I had Julius Randle's name in the media, and, and if I haven't been giving him the smoke, um, then that's on me for that. But yeah, Julius Randle has not played all that great, you know, just to start the season out, he, he hasn't been playing great. Um, I mean, he can share some of that smoke too with some of the other players for certain. Um, I know he's a star. But I mean, specifically the smoke that a star should get when you're the star of the team. Yeah, I'm talking about specifically that kind of smoke. Yeah, he. When, yeah. If 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 uh, if uh, who's the number one? If the Nets are trash, the smoke goes directly to Kevin Durant because he's the star. Yeah, I, I if get the, the Bucks I get don't the play where the smoke yeah. goes to Yeah. Yeah, I, I I get the concept. I get, I totally get the concept about it, but the the yeah, the the story surrounding the Knicks right now has been Kemba Walker getting benched. I mean, remember the st- remember I I like the storyline, you know, after they signed him. It was the kid, the hometown kid coming back home to play in the garden in a place that you know, he had a he had one of his best games as a uh, collegiate yeah, athlete, UConn. and yeah. you know he's performed well in that building. So that was sort of one of the biggest stories. And then to find out that the coach is benching him, you know, for a few, you know, and really it wasn't even for a few games. We didn't know how long he was going to get benched. Like we didn't know if this was sort of a lifetime thing. We didn't know if. The Knicks were like gonna secretly try to put a package together to try to trade him. Like we, we didn't know anything. Like it was just, oh, he's getting benched. And it's like, okay, like this is a sad story. Like this is the hometown kid, you know, coming back to play for the hometown team. And you're telling me that he can't play? Like, that's it? Like, no timetable? When is he coming back? Like what's like what's going on? So like that, some of that has kind of taken up um, the storyline of the Knicks, un- unfortunately. But um, the team itself has played bad. They, the team has played some bad basketball, and it's more so on the defensive end of the, of the basketball. Um, Julius Randle has a lot to do with that. Um, R.J. Barrett has a lot to do with that. Um, you know, and and yes. Randall's the best player on the team. Um, he should get all the attention, whether the team does good, whether the team does bad. Um, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like, and I know you you brought up the Nets, you brought up the Bucks as an example. Julius Randall is not on the level of KD or the Greek Freak. He, he's just not on that sure. level. But he's still the he's on that. Go ahead. He's their star, though. But, but, but that's what I'm saying. He's, uh, okay. he's the Knicks' best player. But when you put him, when you rank him in terms of the other teams' as best players, he's not so they don't there have a star. with the Durant. So they don't have a number one? Are you implying that the Knicks don't have a number one? I've always said that they never had a number one. 
I've, I've always I've never heard that. you say that, but okay. I've, I've, okay, I've, I've never heard you say that. But oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I've yeah. They no, they they don't have a they don't have a dude that you can say here. Give me the ball. You've heard me say this that they don't have a dude that could that you could say hey, here's the ball. Take us take us to where we gotta go. They don't have that guy, and I was hoping yeah, I, that R.J. Barrett would develop into that this season like that's my hope for him and I know the season is still um you know we still got a ways to go for that but RJ Barrett um hasn't improved yet in in my eyes so and and Julius Randle his position his style doesn't lend to give me the ball I'm gonna take over the game I'm gonna you know I'm gonna take the last shot because he's been terrible in those situations. I've, I've watched mostly all the Nick games this season so far. Um, he's terrible at the end of games in terms of mm. handle, in terms of getting to the basket, in terms of turnovers. He's been terrible at the ends of games. Hey, bro. It's hard. It's hard for <laughs> It's hard for me to like yeah, you know, you have these project you had these projections early in the year where you felt like they could be a four C. It's hard for me to believe they could be a fourth seed without that guy, bro. Mm, and obviously they, they that, was that obviously, last year. <laughs> I I think y'all surprised a lot of people. They they was that well they definitely I think surprised y'all surprised people. a lot of people. They definitely so surprised I think they, people. And, so, so I think that, so you thought they could repeat that without the surprise without the surprise element? Well, I thought that RJ Barrett would at some point in the season develop to be that guy. You thought it was gonna happen, and you said you said you thought it was gonna happen this year. So when you say yeah. that guy, because because when I said when I think about that guy, I'm thinking about somebody that's averaging 25 a game. That's Do what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I was hoping that's that a RJ strong Barrett. Leap. It is strong, but I hear you. It's, it's that's my a team. Leap, though. It, it is strong. Yeah, and, and, I hear you. And, and it's my team, and I think RJ Barrett has got some potential, even even in this streak that he's on right now of not, you know, playing up to his potential, he still I think he's still got upside. What's his what's what you think he averaging right now? If you RJ Barrett know, he's probably average. averaging about 16, 17 points a game right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I yeah. Mean, yeah. yeah. He he yeah. got a I hear you. <laughs> number two pick. I hear you, bro. Number two pick. Yeah. He I mean, it's that. okay to be it's it's that's okay to be a number two pick and average that if you got a guy that's averaging twenty five, but um, you don't even you have don't a guy that's averaging twenty five. We don't have a guy averaging twenty five. I about said, do y'all have anybody that's averaging twenty? Uh, Randall, he's averaging about twenty twenty one. Okay, that's that's about okay. it. Okay, that's about it. But yeah, I was I was hoping yeah. that he would. I was hoping he would be that dude. <laughs> Man. I was hoping he'd be that dude. Um, Chief Rock of Jersey Vern. Uh, Randall is a bum, so he doesn't like Julius Randall. Okay. Um, he says the story is that we have two guards that's on COVID that's taking the time um, when they get back. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we've had some COVID issues. Um, RJ Barrett. That's the reason. The that's the reason. That I think that's, that's what Chief. I think I think Chief Rock is making excuses. For his team right and, now. Um, do you do you feel like that's the reason? No, no. Okay. Because everybody got COVID in the league. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's getting it. Yeah. So, everybody got their own issues in their yeah. Exactly. In their respective team. Exactly. Uh, he says Trey, you're not watching the games. Barrett is improving. No, no, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. What are you talking about? Watch the games, Trey. No, he's Watch not. the games. Watch the games, Chief Rocker. <laughs> <laughs> RJ Barrett had like a he had like a five game stretch when he was averaging about 27 28 points. After that he just he just fell off and dipped off. Come 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 on man. <laughs> here go uh here go chief. Uh he says Maestro, just worry about them bitch ass wizards. <laughs> oh, you mean the ones that's in the playoffs right now? <laughs> uh Oh, thank you for correcting me, Chief. RJ Barrett was a number three pick. I forgot about that. It was uh, it was okay. Zion, Ja, Tomato, 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 Tomato. He needs to be averaging twenty five. Yeah, and I don't know why my family keeps showing up on the zooms here. Hey, what you? They just you, want to remind you. What 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 you doing? Hey, you got something going on with this uh, with this zoom, man? <laughs> 
I, uh, a, a glitch you have a something? lovely family. <laughs> you got a lovely family, Trey. Yes, I, I do. I do. <laughs> but, you know, but for the sake of content, you know, that, that shouldn't be happening. I love my family, but that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> hey, man, uh, I'm, I'm going to get up on out of here, man. Uh, if you got nothing else, I'm, I'm all good, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, appreciate everybody. Uh, Facebook live chat was uh, on and popping today. Uh, appreciate that from everybody. Uh, shout out to everybody. Continue to listen to the show. Um, just a few things. Uh, don't forget, uh, you can follow us on the Facebook page. If you want to check out our Facebook live feed, click the like button. And then also, uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have some content there as well. Uh, continue to follow us on social media on Instagram at Barbershop Sports Talk Podcast. And also, you can follow us on Twitter at Barbershop SPOR2. And if you got any questions or comments in regards to the podcast, y'all can hit us up on the email at Barbershop Sports Talk 1 at gmail.com. So, uh, final words, Maestro. Love. Peace out, folks. Wear your damn mask. Happy New Year to everybody. Oh, Happy New Year, of course. I'll be by my damn self. (laughs) On New Year's? That's my plan. I don't want to see nobody. I ain't doing no party, and I might kiss my babies once, but I don't want to talk to them in in the scary hours. They should be asleep. Oh, all right. (laughs) Don't want to be with your kids. All right. right. Not in the scary hours? No, I do not. All right. All right. I, 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 I ain't gonna argue with you, man. I ain't gonna argue with you, bro. I love y'all. I love right. y'all. Yeah, happy new year to everybody. Peace out. Mm-hmm. One love. Love. Recording stopped. <laughs>